now just to give us his take on the whole world and what's going on in it and, and, and where he thinks we're going. Stan, thanks for coming on with us. Thank you for having me, Alex. Uh, good to talk to our fellow Texan, even though I'm in Colorado. Where do you want to start first in this crazy world? Well, I suppose you started off with earthquakes. Um, there are several major curves or threat curves, I call them, to the people of Earth. Geophysical changes, uh, the you know geological changes, astronomical changes, uh, political changes, you know, threat of war. All these factors are playing heavily upon people's minds today. The earthquake thing, um, I used to be able to predict them fairly accurately um, between 70 and 90 percent on a given week. Using data from the uh, U.S. Naval Facility at Fenmock over in Monterey, California, they monitor very subtle changes in the electric fields of the ocean and the air above the ocean, plus the uh, sea surface temperature variation. And this allowed me to look at water uh, coastlines all along the uh, plate tectonic borders. And I determined back in 1996 when I started doing this that you could see changes in the water surface temperature because of the electron flow over that area in the air. And it would make like a little butterfly uh, a yellow and blue wing type uh, signature over where an earthquake was going to happen. And I perfected that technique over the years until 2005 when the um, Fenmock facility, the Navy, put up a new constellation of satellites and new programs on a new uh, Cray computer. And they did not uh, allow me to then access the files I had before uh, to generate these reports. Strangely enough, they were, uh, I was accurate enough that the Association of Island States, or Island Countries, if you wish, asked me to uh, explain how to use it so that they could use it to, to predict tsunamis on these small By islands. By the way, I mean, when I go to the beach or I'm going deep sea fishing, I would go look at the wave buoys, wind uh, systems with NOAA and others. I'm noticing now more and more of that is restricted to the public. And so I'm seeing a tightening down on what was public data with all these systems, uh, you know, not just at the scientific level you're at, but just in my use of it. Yeah, well, it it is um, kind of predictable when you get a totalitarian government, and that's what we've got. Um, the, the Some of the information from, uh, like, um, Yellowstone Park, where we have the Yellowstone Caldera, since I think it was about February of last year, the government uh, made all of the USGS employees, truck drivers uh, moving equipment in and out of the sensor ranges there. Everybody signed uh, non-disclosure uh, agreements with the government uh, facing penalties of um, you know cash uh, fines and also imprisonment if they told what they're doing there in Yellowstone. And we had a geologist uh, break silence. Uh, I won't uh, name him, but um, anyway... They have been running huge, uh, or like high volume uh, internet lines from their sensors all over the Yellowstone Park area down in Texas. I think they may be now switching it over to the uh, uh, NSA facility in Utah. Well, I heard you three years ago on Coast to Coast uh, saying that Yellowstone was becoming active again when nobody else was saying it. Now, this year, it's all over the news. They're saying it's due to erupt. Associated Press, Reuters. But they say, you know, that could be in the next thousand years because they say it happens every few hundred thousand. How do they know? They've been proven to, 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 to show longer periods of meteor strikes, tsunamis, earthquakes, ring of fire activity. It isn't the hundreds of thousands or millions. It looks like it happens a lot more often. Correct, sir? Well, degrees of eruption, yes. Uh, for, to have one of those uh, catastrophic super volcanic eruptions may be, you know, several hundred thousand years between times. But what they're doing now is they're measuring the increased appearance of helium, uh, an isotope of helium gas, which was buried way down deep underneath the Yellowstone. And when that starts to release, it means that there's geological activity down there in a deeper pool of magma, which they have recently discovered. And then they measure uh, hydrogen sulfide gas and carbon dioxide gas emissions at the surface as well. All those factors tell us, especially the rotten egg smell from sulfide gas, when the magma is moving close to the surface. But these deep movements uh, in the uh, the deep uh, structures underneath there are a worry because that indicates a massive sure change. well you're the first guy i ever heard warn of it so i want to hear what you say you think's going on from all the data they certainly are being secretive 
and a lot of wildlife has been moving out of the area. Stan Deo is our guest. I'm Alex Jones. Stay with us. Super Volcano straight ahead. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds, is civilian legal in all 50 states, is 100% made in the USA, is veteran owned, and ships next business day for free. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER over 2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. I want to be clear. I'm not saying that the super volcano is going to blow up at Yellowstone this year, next year, 10 years from now. But from satellite, they now know if you look at Shoemaker Levy, the comet that broke into a bunch of pieces decades ago and hit Jupiter, blowing holes in the gas giant bigger than Earth. Scientists had thought that you know super collisions happen every 50 million years. Now they went, oh, well, actually, we think it happens every few thousand. And now they know from radio telescopes, there's just rocks and asteroids and comets all over the place. And now they can look from satellite and see the Earth's more pot marked than the moon. These things they, we think are probably getting every few hundred years. 
and stuff that knocked out the dinosaurs is hitting, you know, every few million or whatever. Who knows? The point is the geological record's more sped up. Not even geological, the planetary record. And then you got these well, volcanoes. You got all the ancients reporting, you know, it, it being dark for a year and, and, everybody, and most people dying and it being freezing. And people go, oh, that's just ancient Sanskrit. That's a bunch of made up stuff, you know, floods, all this. Now we know the geological system isn't what the mainline preachers say trying to interpret the Bible. And it's not what the mainline scientists say. Stan Deo is our guest. Do you agree with that? kind of dead reckoning statement I made and uh, getting back into the super volcano. You're the first guy I heard, you know, I said years ago, decades ago, talking about it, 15 years ago or more with Art Bell and people. But then I heard you the last three years saying it's active, becoming more active again. And now it's mainstream news that's rising and lowering and they're concerned, but don't worry or, or do worry. What, what's the bottom line? Well, the bottom line is we're going to see trouble with Yellowstone, and we're going to see trouble with Lake Taupo Caldera down in North Island, New Zealand. Both of those are under severe stress uh, from different types of tectonic plate movement, but they are both super volcanoes. Um, and Lake Taupo erupted last in 87 AD. It uh, sent up so much ash from the southern hemisphere that the Chinese astronomers of that time recorded three days of darkness after the eruption down there. Now. USGS has been told not to panic people because it hurts real estate values in the economy uh, if it gets too serious. But people who read between the lines will see that we're being warned by USGS by drills and just kind of subtle warnings in the newspaper in California that earthquake activity and hence some volcanic activity is somewhat imminent. And they're trying to get people to gradually readjust their circumstance without causing a panic. Mind you, with all the illegals in, in California, I guess, it, you know, if that fell into the sea, it wouldn't be a great loss. But still, you got to give them a chance. So, I mean, what are the technicals then on Yellowstone? Why are they so concerned? Well, it's because the, the vent or the new plasma pool they found deep down has opened up a vent to the northwest uh, heading toward uh, Mount St. Helens uh, direction. This one is a very deep vent because when the Fukushima earthquake occurred, on that day I was watching the seismic uh, helicopters at Yellowstone, and one of them, the northwest corner, picked up and rang like a bell before the normal shockwave could have even reached the United States. And that means to me that there is a direct, uh, like, uh, hydrodynamic connection in the plasma, or sorry, in the magma, between Yellowstone and the western side of the North Pacific. This is what they're watching because it will be a a prelude to New Madrid. It'll be a prelude to a number of other volcanoes and breaking up of the West Coast. So the Yellowstone caldera is kind of a, a new kind of instrument in addition to being a threat. Stan Dale is our guest. Again, I'm Alex Jones. If you just tuned in, I want to show you a USGS, I'm, I know you know it, um, blast uh, prediction path. From the eruption date, they claim 2.1 million, 1.3, and the last one, 640,000 years ago. Uh, so I guess they're saying every million years or so, uh, on average, uh, a million to 800,000, I guess if you average it. Uh, we're talking lava and ash hitting as far east as, as Louisiana and Arkansas and Tennessee, as far north as into Canada and going into California. Uh, major hot ash, I guess, would kill everybody, blasting out uh, from Yellowstone Plateau uh, into Oklahoma. Uh, where do they get these numbers, the last one being 640,000 years? Well, they look at the uh, carbon dating and various other gas components of uh, crystallized uh, glass that was in the ash that was thrown out. Is there and any mega volcano, a super volcano this big that's known? Because I've looked at the other ones and they don't look like they're this big. Well, um, the the Lake Taupo eruption was pretty massive. It uh, it was huge. Uh, it, it fell into the uh, the ocean. A lot of the ash and stuff. Which but, which uh, super volcano is the biggest? How many are there? Well, hmm, good question. There there's uh, there's one that's submerged. Um, uh, there's uh, the Lake Taupo. There's Yellowstone. There might be one other one. I think probably four would be my count of the ones we need to consider. So it's not very lucky to have it right in the middle of the U.S. No, and it makes you wonder about the uh, the drills that the government's been running along the New Madrid, along Mississippi. Well, for, explain you know, to us the big picture. 18 minute segment. You'll have the floor. Stan Deo's our guest. Stay with us. Standeo.com. We're on the march. 
The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.